Well, hey guys, hey, back with you for a little bit of an update here on the Sea Ray. Uh, I'll tell you what, I think uh, I have moved myself or gotten myself to a point in the project that uh, when I go back and remember what it was like restoring this boat, that this will probably have been the most miserable time during the entire project. Uh, we're, uh, I, I'm in the, the process of grinding out uh, the old adhesive and uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the fiberglass and stuff that was left over uh, when I pulled the stringers out, uh, getting it down to the hull. So just a lot of grinding going on right now. And I'll tell you what, it is a bear. It's, it's the most miserable thing I think I've ever done. But, uh, you know, it's got, it's, it's got to get done. Uh, so, yeah, real quick, I'll sh show you the equipment that I'm using uh, because when, when, we're, uh, when I'm grinding inside there, uh, there is just a, a, you know, a ton of dust, fiberglass dust. Uh, day one was, uh, uh, was pretty bad and, you know, it, it got better. Uh, to, to keep myself from, uh, you know, getting fiberglass powder everywhere on me, uh, I wound up um, uh, with, a, with a turtleneck, uh, gloves, and, uh, and, and, and a respirator. And, uh, you know, it's, it's only like 95 degrees here, and I'm in the boat, you know, with a fan blowing, but it's 95 degrees, and I've got a turtleneck on <laughs> grinding the boat. My wife thinks I'm absolutely nuts. But uh, anyway, I'll show you what we started off with. Uh, started off with, you know, just your sta standard respirator. Uh, you know, got this at the fiberglass shop, and you know that worked okay. Uh, but you know, I was still, I was still getting, I wasn't getting a very good seal on the inside there, so we were starting to get some leaks, and it, it, it wasn't really that effective. Uh, and then, you know, using a pair of goggles, uh, you know, the standard uh, Home Depot goggles. Uh, these are the non-ventilated ones, uh, but uh, even even with these, I was still getting some leaks uh, and stuff, and then the sweat, and it it, it just wasn't working out good. So finally, finally. Uh, this this is this is what we wound up uh, uh, using. All right, this is a 3M full face respirator. Uh, tell you what, this is the bomb. Uh, if, if you're going to be working a project, if you're going to be doing any kind of grinding and fiberglass like that, I highly recommend it. Uh, it it's it's more expensive, but I'll tell you what, it will it will definitely it makes a huge huge difference uh, being able to work for an extended period of time. Uh, one of the problems that I did have with it, though, was that e with this on, there's no airflow, so I was I was getting a lot of sweat, you know, coming down off my brow, and you know, and then when sweat starts trickling down your face, it gets itchy, and you can't get your hand in there to scratch it or any of that. So I, to to minimize the sweat, uh, this is what I was using. It's a, it's called a skull cap. Uh, you know, I wear one of these uh, under my helmet when I'm flying the helicopter, and uh, so I just put this on and kept it down nice and low and it's nice and thin and the uh, uh, the respirator was able to get a good seal around it. it made a huge difference didn't have sweat dripping down on my eyes I um, mean you know, I was warm it was uncomfortable but at least it didn't have sweat and then uh, and yeah, then earplugs obviously earplugs so uh, that was the equipment that I was using while I was doing the grinding um, I got a couple of clips uh, coming up here a little bit uh, in, in a few minutes of kind of show you what I was doing a little bit earlier but I'll tell you what it is a mess it's, it's an absolute mess there is there's like there's this fine talcum powder type dust that gets over everything um, you know I'm using an air hose my compressor to you know kind of keep blowing the work area clean and I use that for my final cleanup at the end of the day uh, but I'll tell you you know the neighbors are probably a little peeled at me right now because anything within about 20 yards of the boat has got this fine mist of fiberglass dust all over it. <laughs> my truck looks horrible. So anyway, uh, let's go take a look at that. Oh, before we go, uh, here's here's that rear deck uh, that we pulled out. This, uh, you know, I've just got it set in the backyard here on sawhorses. I started cutting some of the wood out of that. Uh, some of the pieces of wood was just just not in very good shape, so we're, I'm going to wind up replacing, uh, you know, a fair amount of the wood too in here just to, to kind of clean it up. Um, also, want to kind of refinish this. This is going to be this is like the rear cabin area, so I'm going to get this ground down, uh, check the fiberglass, maybe reseal some of the areas here, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, there, the the wood uh, that's that's in this part. 
uh, of the deck will probably get replaced a little bit. Well, I'll, I'll grind back a little bit and see if we have to replace any of that wood. I um, want, want to keep that area fairly strong because uh, you know, people, uh, you know, will be uh, walking. Actually, that's that was the helm station there. So anyway, let's uh, let's go take a look at the inside of the boat here and, uh, and kind of show you uh, what I'm working on and uh, you know where, where we're at right now. All right.
Okay, guys, uh, at the stern of the boat here right now, and as you can see, uh, this uh, this is what that, that that mist of fiberglass dust looks like. It is on everything. Uh, I guess I've been using an air hose a compressor to kind of kind of keep things clean, but you can see, man, it's 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 just like like talcum powder. Um, yeah, what 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 a pain in the butt! What a pain in the butt this is. But you know, it's it's coming along pretty good. So. I'm hoping, you know, maybe another uh, you know, day and a half of grinding and uh, we'll, we'll get, get the rest of it all out. All right, so uh, this, is what, this is what it looks like after yeah, I've gone through and done my cleanup uh, after grinding for today. Or for, and you can see, here's, here, here, here's what we're doing. Let's see how this is nice and clean. This is where the... Uh, the old deck was right here in the residual wood, and this this is the uh, uh, the adhesive that they used. It's uh, almost like a uh, it's a real thick adhesive, uh, you know, industrial type adhesive. Uh, and then what they do is they glass this in, and it looks like they used uh, some some fairly thick mat and some resin, and they glassed in the edges. So I'm taking it all right back down, uh, you know, to the hull itself. Uh, this is where some of the, one of the stringers ran, and we, we've kind of ground ground that off. One thing I shouldn't be walking in here in sandals, uh, silly me. Um, so with that dust on here, the, the the hull is actually pretty slippery. So anyway, uh, yeah, just getting it ground down, getting it cleaned, uh, getting ready to accept the new stringers, and the um, um, and the deck uh, that's going to wind up going in here. Um, what else can I show you guys right now? Oh. All right, this is the this is this is what I did here today, and I kind of ground this area out here. Uh, we've got it. We're starting to get this cleaned up. Uh, I don't think I'm going to grind the entire hull, uh, but I will probably do uh, the keel area here because I'm finding an awful lot of voids uh, in the in this mat that they laid over the hull. Uh, before they put the foam in. I mean, you see here, here's the original hull and then you can see here's the thickness of this mat that they laid in here and this mat was uh, it's very very coarse uh, and I'm, I found uh, a number of areas uh, like uh, up in this especially up in the bow here where it was it was like really thick but the uh, it wasn't impregnated with resin it, it was coming apart uh, with the grinder, almost like a you know a doormat, you know the, the brown fibrous uh, doormats that you buy at the hardware store. It kind of looked like that material, um, but you know we're getting all that stuff ground out. Uh, as far as the V birth area up here, uh, I think what I've decided to do is uh, we're gonna. Uh, you see it here on this construction, the foam didn't even go all the way up in that compartment. So rather than tear this thing completely out. Uh, I, I think I'm just going to rebuild it. I'm going to you know, probably get all the foam out of there uh, and then uh, get some new wood up in there. It's, uh, and, but at minimum, I'm going to run the new stringers uh, all the way up to the bow uh, where, where these, where I cut these out. Uh, they'll go all the way up to the bow. Uh, and that, that's about the only real structural uh, component that I've got to do there. And, you know, all the stuff on the v here is non-structural. It's mostly going to just be seating and uh, for storage. Uh, this is where I'm probably going to put the, uh, the porta potty. Uh, I, I don't think I'm going to go uh, put a full lab uh, back in the boat uh, like they had before. But I think this is the, the, this bow area right up here, this little uh, cutout, I think is where the, the porta potty is going. So, anyway, uh, you know, we're going to just go ahead and uh, repair, rebuild this a little bit, and then glass this all in, and then refoam those compartments. I think it'll be plenty strong, but the big thing right now is just getting all the grinding done. Uh, there's just say I've got about another day and a half of grinding. Here's what uh, here's what it looked like. Um, here, here, here's some of that adhesive uh, that they used, and man, I'm telling you, they just globbed it everywhere. You were very sloppy with their application. Uh, it's it's really hard. It's uh, it's almost like a like a PL uh, construction adhesive. But uh, so anyway, the, all all this is getting ground out. Uh, this was the old midship bilge area that was uh, that was there. Uh, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to replace the bilge or you know put a new bilge in it. Uh, 
if I put uh, if I put a shower in the cabin, then I probably will do this bilge or a bilge somewhere. But uh, yeah, this is uh, this is what it looked like. Yeah, you know, went down as far as we could with the sawzall, getting those uh, stringers out of there, and um, so that that gets ground out. This gets uh, gets taken down to the hole, and then we're start all over again. So anyway, that's it from the Sea Ray right now. Uh, you know, it's uh, uh, it's not real exciting. It's really a mess, and uh, I'm not having a lot of fun doing this right now. But um, you know, I, I just got to keep telling myself that when when I'm done with it, it it's going to be it's going to be right. It's going to be uh, it's going to be really nice. So uh, that's it from Poway uh, for right now. Um, this is Saturday. I've got got a couple more days. Uh, uh, I have something I got to do this evening, so I, I can't do any more work this afternoon. Uh, besides, it's too hot to work. I think I'm just going to get a beard, jump in the pool. Um, then uh, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow and Monday, I'll, I'll spend some time on it. Hopefully, I'll have all of this ground out uh, and, and ready for uh, uh, to start cutting wood uh, next time I come home on break. So anyway, guys, uh, like I said, that's it from Poway for right now. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll, I'll update as the uh, work progresses. All right, you guys, be safe out there. Take care.